Whenever it starts to get a little bit chilly outside and the pumpkin spice lattes start showing up on store shelves everywhere, makers start wondering how they could get their home to be a little more cozy. And you wonder, can I 3D print a candle? Well, of course you can. You can 3D print anything you want. The question is, should you? Do you have a fire extinguisher handy? Because you might just need it. What you don't realize is that candles actually get to be really, really hot. They're like a thousand degrees Celsius down there in the, the hottest part of the fire. And that's way more hot than our uh, 3D printer nozzles ever get to be. I mean, think about it. You only need your nozzle to get to be 185 degrees Celsius to start melting PLA. And even though we run it a little bit warmer than that, like I usually run stuff at 205, and you can burn your fingers on the nozzle at that temperature, but that's still a lot cooler than a candle flame. So what is it about candles? I mean, there's warnings on the candles. It, it says, don't burn these unattended. So we know that having fire is kind of dangerous, but candles are traditional this time of year and you know, they smell great. Now think about this. Have you ever used a lighter to clean up a 3D print. It works great at melting away those little wispy bits of retraction errors, but if you get it too close or too long, you start to melt your print or singe it or, well, you could even catch it on fire. <clears throat> Not that I know anything about that. Probably a bad idea to put fire inside a PLA print or any kind of 3D print for that matter. But still, I kind of wanted to see for myself. So we ran a few experiments and took some prints outside and we may have set them on fire for science. My teenager and I conducted a few tests. We printed a bunch of candle holders and we took them out back to see how well they held up to real candle fire, to real candles. Now the ghost here obviously wasn't gonna make it, but the others held up remarkably well. I think that one's just smothering it. <laughs> no, nope, it's still going. It's still going. There it goes. Ooh, now it's. Oh, I'm starting to smell something. Oh, the ghost is melting. <laughs> oh my god, the ghost's entire head has just sunken in. Then we got bored and started just setting things on fire. <laughs> like a well, it's on fire. <laughs> In my garage, I ran a second test where I let the candles go for a long time. It only took 25 minutes for the vase mode print to start melting around the edges. Um, I let them burn for three hours and none of the other candles appear to be damaged. Okay, this obviously wasn't the most scientific of experiments, but none of our candles or candle holders actually caught on fire, although some of them did melt a little bit. And uh, this one in particular, it's getting singed every time I tip it to light the, the wick. So I really, really can't suggest that you use actual candles in a 3D printed candle holder. It's just not safe. So instead, what you can use is a battery-operated tea light. They look great in your 3D print. They're a whole lot safer, especially if you have kids, cats, or dogs. So if, you know, one of these gets knocked over, you're not going to set your house on fire. 
And besides, they look really nice in your 3D print. So if you've liked any of the, uh, the candle holders that I've shown off today, there's links down below and you can go ahead and print your own. But please use a battery operated candle in them, okay? All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.